Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we're doing some VGC style battles. So this is a QR team that I found online. Um, it's got Tapu Koko, Choice Specs Tapu Koko with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Discharge, Dazzling Gleam, Life Orb, Tapu Lele with Psychic, Moonblast, Taunt, and Protect, Cortana with Choice Scarf, Leaf Blades, March Strike, Sacred Sword, Razor Leaf, it's to hit both Pokemon, I think. Garchomp has Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Poison Jab, Protect, with Groundium Z. Um, Arcanine has Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, Extreme Speed, Bulldoze, and it's Intimidate, Assault Vest. Um, on the Mandibuzz, Foul Play, Snarl, Tailwind, Roost, and it's got the Psychic Seed. So I'm excited to try out this team, because it looks really neat. We'll go ahead and go on here. And this is, our, I think, our first foray in a while for VGC rules. So if you've watched the recent um, internationals, you, um, North American internationals, that was a really cool battle. Um, the person that ended up winning was Christopher Can. And I, I want to try out some Snorlaxes. But for now, we're going to try out this team. And I think this team looks pretty cool. So I see... Um, see what I see. There's Muck. There's... Um, Gastrodon. You've got two... Um, you have two electric types. So I think Garchomp would be good. Most of your Pokemon are physical. I'm going to lead with... Arcanine Garchomp. And then I think... I'll bring the Kartana. And... Hmm... I think I'll bring Tapu Lele. Actually, no. I don't want to bring Tapu Lele. I'll actually bring the Coco. Because. Just because. So let's go ahead and try out this VGC battle. Um, I'm excited. I've been wanting to do VGC battles for a while. And I think since we just had US and um, North America internationals. Excuse me. Um, it was U.S. Nationals last year. Alright, so I see two physical attackers on the field. Talonflame and Togedemaru. And Arcanine Garchomp. Alright, so we're just going to intimidate these two. Now Togedemaru has that one move, Zing Zap, I think it's called. And it does a lot. Um, does the extreme speed go before... Talon Flame Brave Bird. I don't I don't know. I'm just going to I think though I could get a bulldoze off. And that would that should take out or at least do a lot of damage to Togedemaru. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do because I know Togedem actually no wait. Um just wall charge, Talon Flame, and with you I'll protect because, yeah, just first turn protect Garchomp because I'm pretty sure Brave Bird's probably going towards Garchomp. Alright, so fake out. Oh, Flinium Z. Alright, at least we've got the Intimidate. That really helps us out. Is that coming towards Garchomp too? Uh, we're just go Nope, that's Arcanine. Can Arcanine live this? Yeah, Arcanine's living. Oh, you've got Lightning Rod. What? I forgot about that. Um. So I'm actually going to switch Arcanine out. I think I should switch it to Tapu Koko. And I'm just going to. Tectonic Rage. The Togedemaru slot. Because if I can get Togedemaru out of the way, Tapu Koko will have an easy time on this Talonflame. Spiky Shield. The Z moves... They, they, they break through that, right? Pretty sure. Alright, so the Brave Bird, I'm pretty sure, was going towards the Arcanine slot. 
So, I've seen Protect. The effects of Protect from a Z move. But I haven't seen Spiky Shield, what it does. Yeah, so it still attacks through, doesn't it? Yeah. Do we still take damage from the Spiky Shield? Ooh, the Shuka Berry. That's nice. That's interesting. I'm just going to... I have to... I'm going to just um, hard switch back into Arcanine. And the reason is, I want to bring this Talonflame... Um, bring its attack just a little bit lower. And the Togum Demaru attack lower, too. So I'm just going to do that. Um, for this, I'm actually going to just Dragon Claw the Talonflame. Because I just want to get rid of this thing. And since it's, it's Gel Wings no longer is in effect because it's not at full health, but it's pretty, it's pretty easy to put Roost on the Talon Flame. I'm just going to switch out my Coco, bring Arcanine out, lower this these attacks some more. All right, so withdrawing the Togedemaru, Gastrodon comes out. I think I brought something for Gastrodon, did I not? Alright, so, um, yeah, let me just double check and see if I've got... Yeah, the Kartana is for the Gastrodon. So I'm just going to... Extreme Speed, the Talonflame. And I think... I'm going to Protect... Um, yeah, protect the Chomp, because I need Chomp to be alive for the Togedemaru. For the Withdrawal, Togedemaru comes in, it's going to take an extreme speed, but that's not going to do that much. I'm just going to protect my Garchomp. Arcanine goes for extreme speed. Going to do just a little bit of damage, but not much. Muddy Water, that's unfortunate, because that's going to probably be enough to take Arcanine out. And his... yeah. Actually, no, it's not. Wow, Arcanine, you are awesome. I'm just going to flare... um... Yeah, um... I need Arcanine for Intimidate, I think. So I'm just going to bring Cartana out here. I'm just going to Dragon Claw the Gastrodon. Just do a little bit of damage. Um, that way I can break, uh, like a um, Oak Sash if it has it. Yeah, Togemaru is going for Fake Out. And that was pretty clear that that was going to happen. Um, I already used Protect. Muddy Water. Kartana avoids the Muddy Water. Nice. But it's going to hit the Garchomp. And... But that's okay. Um, I think... I think I should just Razor Leaf, actually. And I'm going to Dragon Claw. The Gastrodon slot. Alright, so the Talon Flame comes in. Razor Leaf. Alright, so Dragon Claw is going to take out the Gastrodon. And I'll have to switch my Kartana. Okay, what Pokemon did he. Did, what was the other Pokemon? Probably Tomaru. Gastron, Talonflame. I don't think I've seen the other one. I don't think so. But here, I want to bring Arcanine in. I'm going to sack off Arcanine because I think Arcanine is going down when I bring it in. I haven't seen the other Pokemon, but I don't think Arcanine is going to help 
anymore. So I'm just going to bring it in, let it go down, and then you, Garchomp, I'm just going to protect. And the reason is, I think Togemaru is going to fake out the Garchomp. So this way, Garchomp doesn't take any damage, any unnecessary damage. And Arcanine is able to put the Intimidate on these two physical attackers. Garchomp will protect. They might double into Garchomp. Um, Alright, so there's the fake out on Arcanine. We are still alive. Nice. Okay, so... I think... I mean, it didn't do that much... But I think bringing Kartana in right now is still pretty decent play. Yeah, I think it is. Um, I can just... Um, I think Smart Strike... Actually, no. Um, Sacred Sword... Okay, I'm just going to smart strike the Talon Flame, and I'm just going to double into the Talon Flame. All right, and he's going to protect the Togedomaru. All right, and Talon Flame is going to roost. Okay, that's unfortunate. So that means Talonflame is faster than Garchomp, but we're faster than Talonflame, so another Smart Strike should take care of it. And I'm just going to Dragon Claw the Togedemaru slot. Alright, so here comes Muck. That's going to do like okay. That's a, that's pretty good damage there. I think that's enough to take out Togemaru. So um, Tapu Koko can come out, and do whatever it wants, basically. And I think I think yeah. I'm going to bring Tapu Koko out here. And the reason I'm putting it in the Kartana slot is because Muck is not going to go for a Poison Jab on um, Kartana. I'm, I feel safe putting it there. Talonflame could go for the Flare Blitz, but that's okay because I'm just going to Earthquake. Because I think Talonflame's going to go for Roost. I think that's the best play. It's a risky play, but it's, it's, it's a play. Yeah, I think that's the play. Flare Blitz, never mind. So, it's going to do quite a bit of damage to its... It's going to take itself out. Um, Tapu Koko is not going to be able to do anything, but I think Tapu Koko has lost its usefulness in this battle. So, I think... I think this is the best play. Do as much damage on Muck as I can. And Kartana can come in. Alright, so, the knockoff. Now I've got... Yeah, that, that knockoff was aimed at Kartana, I think. But I think we've got this. We've got this. This is a good game here. Smart Strike, Dragon Claw. And that's the game. Oh, this is a nice team I've found. Alright, so that's a pretty good game. Um, we'll go into the next battle. Um, I've, I've been feeling the need for VGC. But yeah, that... Kartana is just such a really good Ultra Beast Pokemon. Just, I think it's one of the best. I don't... What, what was it on my ranking when I did the ranking? 
I think it was my number one because Kartana is just so good. It's like so powerful. It can take a hit, a physical hit, special hits. It's gone, but physical hits. It's it's able to do that. We'll do one more battle. That's what we'll do. One more battle. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Alright, so, I see the Muck. I see the Alolan Ninetales. I see Arcanine. Arcanine's big. Katana, Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco. So the Tapus are in full swing. Um, what am I going to do? So, let's see... I think I could bring Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz? Yeah, I think I'll bring Mandibuzz and the Lele. Because that's an interesting combo. It's kind of like that um, Lele Driftbloom combo, but with Mandibuzz. I'm going to do that. I think Kartana is still a really good Pokemon to bring here. I think I might bring Coco, though. I think I need Coco for the Tapu Fini. And Coco will also... Actually, I think Kartana is still a better choice. And Garchomp. Yeah, so I think this is how it's going. Garchomp is just such a really good Pokemon. This team is just full of really good Pokemon. I'm, I'm glad to see Arcanine's getting a lot of usage. You know? Because there's like a lot of Gen 1 Pokemon that's kind of like falling out of usefulness and competitive battling. Ninetales and Tapu Koko. So you're going to. Alright, so yeah, we're going to end up winning the Surge War. So it's going to be a Psychic Surge. But it's going to be snowing too. So what I'm going to do first is just Tailwind because I think. Yeah, Mandibuzz should take a Thunderbolt. Because Mandibuzz is bulky. I know because I used Mandibuzz on the, Typhlo the Kentucky Typhlosion team. So what I'm going to do is just um, taunt the Nine Tails and set up the Tailwind because Nine Tails usually goes for the Aurora Veil. Can we live this? I don't think we can, honestly, because it's such a powerful hit. I should have thought about that. I did think about that in the back of my mind, but part of me thought, no. I don't know if we can live this. Oh, we are living that. Wow. Oh, but this should take us out. No, never mind. Mandibuzz is just... Okay. We're froze. We're froze. Um, okay, how are we going to do this? I'm just going to Moonblast. And... Yeah, there's no reason keeping Mandibuzz on the field. Yeah, just roost. See if a roost takes care of um, There's no way it's living, though. It's froze. That's very, very unfortunate. That's the name of the game. Oh, or double frozen. Hello? Yeah? Um, at the house. Yeah.
Okay. Okay, but That was a phone call. Kind of an important phone call, but I didn't want to end the session for that, but... I think, I think we're done for. There's no way we're coming back from this. We are frozen. Double frozen. I mean, we could smart strike. It doesn't matter. Oh, we thawed out. Wow, Lele. Get some damage on this thing. Alright, so the Blizzard will do a lot to Cartana, though. But we're living. Oh, we're taking a knockoff. <sighs> yeah, that double, that, that freeze really ruined us. If we had the Tailwind up right now, that would be perfect. But we weren't able to, and we just got clean sweeped by these two Pokemon. We're just going to Tectonic Rage, the Ninetales. It's... okay, we're done. Wow. The thing outsped Garchomp? It's... it's Garfed. It's Garfed. Ninetales is Garfed. Wow, that was horrible. We'll go ahead and do one more battle. I think that might have been not a really good lead. Mandibuzz, Lele lead. That was just unfortunate. We'll do one more battle. Because that call kind of interrupted the battle. And the freeze axe was thick with that one. That's annoying. I wish I could turn this thing off. Wish people wouldn't call me when I was recording. They can call, you know. Yeah, okay. I'm just annoyed. I'll figure out a way to keep that from happening again. I have it on my voicemail. If you can't get a hold of me, call Jesse. Because I might be recording. Okay. We'll try this out one more time. It's taking a while, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Okay, I don't think Lele Mandibuzz is a good thing to bring in. And actually here, I'm not so sure it is a good thing because... Mandibuzz isn't good against anything. Lele isn't really good against anything either. Those two are out. So it's going to be the, the yeah, you know what I mean. I think, I think Tapu Koko. Yeah, I'm going to lead Tapu Koko. And Kartana. And also bring Arcanine and Garchomp. So, the reason I'm leading with these two is because the Gastrodon, I think Kartana will be really good for that. And apart, for some reason, I feel like Kart, um, Gastrodon might lead. So, I'm just going to go ahead and bring that. No, Kartana and Porygon Z. Okay. But I know what Porygon Zs usually do. They usually go for a Z conversion. But what I'm going to do is try to... I'm just going to double down on the Porygon. Try to get that thing out of the way.
Okay, so uh, one sacred sword is enough. Oh yeah, we got the attack rays. All right, and a thunderbolt on the opposing Kartana. It's gonna do a lot. Oh, focus sash. Okay, so what are you doing, Kartana? Sacred sword on my Kartana? But we're going to live that because Kartana has really good defense. So I think I really like how this first turn played out. It's not as horrible as the last first turn where I got froze, and froze again, then got a phone call, and then it froze again. Um, Tapu Fini. I think I should go after Tapu Fini. I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt on the Kartana. Actually, no, Volt Switch. Oh no, I've got Choice Specs, that's why I forgot. Um, I'm just going to Choice Specs, I mean, Thunderbolt Kartana. And you... Actually, no, I'm stuck. But I'm just going to Thunderbolt Cortana because that might have been a B tie, and I think. Okay, I'm going to switch Cortana out into Garchomp, and the reason why is because I don't think I don't think Tapu Fini is going to go for. Um... Well, it might. Now looking at this, it might go for a Moonblast. Okay, it's going for Muddy Water. Garchomp avoided. Nice. Okay. So, fortunately, Tapu Koko is going to take a lot of damage. But, Thunderbolt the Feeny. And, I'm just going to protect the Chomp. Because I think Tapu Koko is going down real soon anyway. I just need it to keep my Kartana alive, because Kartana is my key to victory. Because Kartana is so good. Alright, so I'm going to protect my Garchomp. Don't want it to go down here. We're going to Thunderbolt the Feeny. That's going to be enough to take it out. Wow, nice. And... Smart Strike. Alright, so unfortunately it didn't matter, but... Tapu Koko goes down, but not without a fight. It took out... Oh, you've got your Beast Boost running. Um... So my Kartana, I know my Kartana is faster, but I'm going to bring Arcanine. I know you have Protect, and this is going to force you to use Protect, because you know Arcanine has extreme speed, and you have your own Arcanine. Hmm. So we're just trading Intimidates, but I think I think Groundium Z will be enough to take out Arcanine. So I'm just going to double into his Arcanine. Um, extreme Speed his Arcanine, and then Groundium Z his Arcanine. So I'm just going to take care of this. Arcanine situation I see on the field. Alright, that's going to be enough. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, that's that's me. What am I doing? <laughs> I got worried. I was like, ah! Oh, he's going to destroy me with his Arcanine. Nope. I'm going to destroy him with my Garchomp. Alright, so that was a good play, going after the, his Arcanine, instead of worrying about his Kartana, because he, he was going to protect it. There was no reason not for not to protect it from his side. And we've got this, there's extreme speed on his Kartana wins us the game. I could just go for anything on his Kartana, and it's game over. Yep, that's the game there. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.